One of my memories of Granddad is in the summers, my brother and I would spend a week up at their house, kind of like a grandma camp. Um, and I would come down for breakfast and I would see my granddad sitting at the table, eating his breakfast, usually out of the pot that he cooked his oatmeal in with his spoon. But right behind the pot was his Bible. And he always sat there every morning, reading it, studying it, with his mind and the Word of God. The following is an excerpt from Psalm 37 that he had marked in his Bible. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and cultivate faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he will do it. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light and your judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way, because of the man who carries out wicked schemes. All day long he is gracious and lends, and his descendants are a blessing. Depart from evil and do good, so you will abide forever. For the Lord loves justice and does not forsake his godly ones. The righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom, and his tongue speaks justice. The law of his God is in his heart. His steps do not slip. I have been young, and now I am old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, or his descendants begging bread. Um, some of my fondest memories of Granddad are him getting to know my daughter Reagan, and uh, her getting to know him. Um, he loved children, and every time Granddad would see her, his face would just light up, and hers as well. Um, she would just talk his ear off, <laughs> talk, 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 and he would just smile at her and listen. And um, he used a man of few words, but uh, he had a great influence on all of us, and uh, we'll miss him dearly. I. Uh, was staying at grandma's these past few days and um there's a little framed verse upstairs by uh, their bedroom and uh it was uh kind of what paul was echoing with uh the uh you know the, the children knowing the lord and all that it's uh third john 1 4 and it says i have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth and i think that, that is definitely the case. And I think Granddad is looking down at us proud, and I just hope that I can be as good father to my children as he was to his and influence another generation of children. I'm Drew, and I'm one of the grandsons that uh, was not raised on a farm, so <laughs> I, I guess I'm going to give you a perspective of a, of a city slicker. Um, like my sister mentioned, it was always a special treat to get to go to grandma and granddad's in the summer, and um, whether it was... Uh, Granddad's tractor, uh, the barn, Granddad's barn, Granddad's old farm equipment, uh, Granddad's barn, and just the farm. Uh, it still is one of my favorite places to go. Uh, there was a ride on Dandy, Granddad's pony. There was a Granddad's tractor ride when I was really young, and he did go too fast. <laughs> Uh, there was Granddad telling me not to touch the electrical wire, and I didn't listen to him. Um, and then there were the cats. Granddad loved to feed the cats. I guess, you know, being from the city, you kind of need those in the barn. So, um, as I grew older, it was helping him on the farm. Uh, 
granddad taught me how to to use the uh, the corn sheller. I had to figure out what that thing was this morning. Uh, granddad drove the baler, and uh, Uncle Bill and I stacked the hay on the the wagon behind it. Later on, when James was uh, older, Granddad and I would feed the hay onto the conveyor, and Uncle Bill and, and James would be in the loft in the barn uh, stacking it. And uh, believe it or not, Granddad, my dad, Neil, and myself, all in the middle of a blizzard one year, decided we wanted wood. It wasn't my decision, actually. But, uh, and so we took the tractor out. It was blowing, it was uh, freezing cold. My eyelids actually froze open for like a couple seconds. But I think my favorite story was when I was visiting from college and granddad was changing the back tire on the Jetstar. That's a tractor. Uh, and I thought, you know, I got 59 years on this guy. I'm gonna be able to pick this, this, uh, this tire up. So I tried grabbing it and Tried grabbing it again, didn't didn't really work. And of course, Granddad didn't say anything um, while I was trying. But I think he went around the back of the tractor and got a metal pole and put it in the middle of the the wheel and just kind of used some leverage, lifted it up, and uh, he taught me to use my head to uh, before tackling a project. Something I still do today. Uh, I do have one more favorite story uh, in the summers when we'd see him. It was every morning when I would wake up at the farm, I'd see him reading his Bible. I saw him with his eyes closed, praying to God. Uh, it, was, it was granddad not getting angry or frustrated when he could have easily been. It was granddad's quiet example that I'll never forget. Uh, that was my granddad. We all loved him. <laughs>